हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए डिफरेंट मेथड ऑफ मल्टीप्लिकेशन फ्रेंड्स यू नो दैट देर इज नो यूनिवर्सल वे टू मल्टीप्लाई टू नंबर्स द मल्टीप्लिकेशन मेथड यूज्ड इन वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स और वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स इज क्वाइट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम method of multiplication used in abacus which is again completely different from method of multiplication used in binary system here is another method which is called the russian peasants method of multiplication now what is done in this method is like this we have here two columns of numbers one is called doubling column another is called halving column forget the remainder in this column we will halve the numbers and keep on halving the numbers and forget the remainder let us start with say here i have taken a number to be 1 another number also 1 and here i will write entries of the first column which corresponds to an odd entry in the second column so here second column entry is 1 so first column entry should be written here which is also 1 and 1 into 1 we know that product is 1 and if we sum up all the entries in this third column then also it adds up to 1 only now for example let us take another number say we we write here say 2 and let us write here with 2 also you see since it is 1 is odd so here i have to write 2 product is 2 and here also 2 let us write here for example say 5 now what happens 5 we divide by 2 find forget the remainder so it is 2 2 again divided by 2 so remainder is 1 and when we reach 1 we stop no further division because after that if we divide and forget the remainder we will get 0 0 only and we'll here in this column we will keep on doubling the number as many times we have half the number till we reach 1 so original number was 2 here and original number is 5 here their product we know that it is 10 now here in the third column we write those numbers of first column which correspond to an odd number here in this column so here 5 is odd corresponding entry is true so we have written 2 here 2 is even so we don't write anything here here one is odd corresponding entry is 8 so we have written 8 and if we add 8 and 2 it gives 10 which is same as the product of two numbers let us take another slightly bigger number say let us take 65 here and we take here say uh 39 here now see we keep on having 39 and we keep on doubling 65 so 39 half is 19 point something so it is 19 remainder is forgotten and here 65 double is 130 then 19 divided by 2 is 9 so it is doubled 130 is 260 9 divided by 2 is again 4 okay remainder is 1 forget so 4 so it is doubled here 520 4 divided by 2 is 2 so here it is doubled 1040 2 divided by 2 is 1 so here is doubled 2080 after that we stop and now here we write 39 is odd so we write 65 here 19 is odd so we write 130 here 9 is odd so we write 260 here 4 is even we forget 2 is even forget 1 is odd so we write 2080 so if we add these numbers 
this this entry here gives the sum of all the entries here it adds up to 2535 and if you see the compute the product otherwise also it is 2535 so again you see this now these two numbers are same so whatever number you write here so write, take slightly bigger number so you will write 194 and here we even if we okay we write 39 only if you multiply this to number this is actually ordinary product straight away product then it is it gives you 7566 and in this presents method also if we add up this column you will get 7566 so we increase it little bit 201 maybe so again you see 194 into 201 is if you use your calculator you will see that it is 38994 and if you add up these numbers then also it comes 38994 this is an excel sheet i have used the formula here if you see this formula this formula is uh, this is formula bar here is it yeah so you see that this is uh, c6 into h e6 so it is adding up this two uh sum uh, taking uh, multiplying up this two number and this is simply addition sum of this thing okay this column if you see the heading also i don't know it will be seen or not yeah so this is g i show you even the grid lines also yeah so you see this entry has gone down little bit so this entry is sum of g6 g22 so it is adding up this column and this is c6 into e6 so this is ordinary product this is present method multiplication okay so so if i remove them one by one okay okay so whatever number you take whether big or small it will give you the same answer okay so here also if you use your calculator you will see that this number is 97238 and here also it is 97238 so this method is i repeat again two numbers you have to uh, you want to multiply so one of the numbers you keep on doubling and another number you keep, keep on hubbing and then for, uh, forget the remainder after dividing by 2 and you proceed keep on having till you reach 1 and that many times you keep on doubling it and then look at the odd numbers in this column and write the corresponding entries of the first column here so write those entries of the first column here which correspond to an odd entry here so for example 1 to 5 3 is odd so 7 7 6 is written 6 to 6 is even so it is nothing is written 3 1 3 is odd so this is written 3 1 0 4 is written similarly 9 is odd so 9 9 3 2 8 is written and if you add up all this thing then i'll get this okay i don't say that this method is better or that method is uh, not better this is just another way of multiplication and surprising thing is that it works So that's all in this video thanks for watching